Most all local businesses need software, whether they know it or not. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over exactly how to find these customers so you can sell them websites and other marketing services. Now let's go over to Google Maps over here, and this is where we're gonna start. Now zoom in to a certain town of your choosing. We're gonna go in the Charlotte area, and we're just gonna type in plumbing. Now on the left side of Google Maps, it's gonna show you the Google My Business pages. And in the Google My Business pages, there's gonna be information about this company. It's gonna have their phone number, it's gonna have their website, it's gonna have some pictures, and it's gonna have reviews. So from here, you can kind of see if this company is doing well or not based on how many reviews they have. For example, this company right here has 1,100 reviews. So let's see what their website looks like. All right, it's a pretty good looking website and I can see why they have all these reviews. They're probably getting a ton of traffic, if not the majority of the traffic in this area. They've got a lot of good call to action buttons all the way down on every single section. Pretty good stock photos as well. And at the bottom here, you can go ahead and schedule online. So this probably brings you to a calendar and has a decent form fill here. Now, this is the standard of what I would say is bare minimum for plumbers. And we're gonna go ahead and find some websites that don't look like this. So for example, here's one that I found, Julian's Plumbing in the Charlotte area. All right, they do have their phone number here and it is clickable. As you can see in the bottom left, it'll bring a number up. Now we can check if this is mobile optimized by hitting F12 and then clicking what device that we want to see it on, for example. So for example, let's go the iPhone 12. All right, so they do have a responsive website, that's good. It's just very outdated. Their logo is just a little too much. And as we scroll down, they do have a scheduled service, which is good. Their form fill, one, two, three, four, five, six, six boxes. Uh, you really only need three boxes. You need the name, phone number, and email. Everything else you can grab at a later time. Now, if you get their email, you're gonna be able to follow up with their clients. So that's good to have. This just needs a redesign. Everything else looks to be functioning pretty well. So let's go to the next one on the list. If you scroll down on the left here, some of these companies you'll see don't have websites attached. For example, here's one right here, Nostrum Plumbing. So there is no website attached to the Google My Business and you can see here, there is no website icon. So this is a company you could call right now and pitch them a website design because they don't have one attached. And the great thing about this is they come with photos. So people have been leaving reviews and they have 99 reviews and they're in good standing as a company, but they just don't have the web design aspect of their business. All right, here's another one I found, North Meek Plumbing. So the water in the background, not, not a great aesthetic. Uh, they do have a call to action. Let's see where that takes us. All right, a form fill, that's good. The call us is not a button. So if you're on mobile and you wanna click this to call, you're not, you're not gonna be able to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and hit F12 and see if it's responsive. It is responsive, that's good. A lot of wasted space right here though. And like I mentioned, you can't click this phone number. Let's go back to the landing page. This one column layout doesn't look very good. As you can see, they just have a wall of text here. What they need to do is they need to split this up into multiple columns and maybe have a picture on the right and then have a bit of ad copy on the left. And then they're gonna need call to actions. So you're gonna need a call to action. So if somebody reads this ad copy and then they're like, okay, this is a good fit for me, then they're gonna go ahead and click and go on to the next step in your funnel. But this website does not do that. I like this picture right here with him holding that wrench. Kind of shows that they've been around a long time. I would maybe put that at the top, not this splash of water. <laughs> it's really pixely as well. Uh, looks like they've got some certifications. This is good to have front and center as well. Uh, most people don't know what these certifications are though. So you wanna make sure where you're gonna put them on the page because they're not as relevant as you may think. They do add a little social proof, but maybe midway down the page. So here's a great piece of ad copy that they have just tucked away at the bottom. Family owned and operated with over 43 years of experience. We are proud of our local long standing reputation for quality. We have a vested interest in our area and are committed to serve our community. So this is perfect. This should be something that's right top and center. They, they really need to lead with this. This is great because it shows that they've been around, they know what they're doing. They have a ton of expertise. This one just needs a visual revamp. So it's more of a landing page instead of an old style website. I would definitely reach out to this company and offer them a full redesign and then give them some type of marketing services on the back end, such as email follow-up. All right, here's another one I found, Amen Plumbing. Now, they have their 4.9 star review right at the top, which is good, and it says reviews from Google, so let's click that. All right, this brings us down to the section that they're listed in, that's perfect. See, what I see with a lot of websites is people will have links, and when you click them, they'll go to different pages. 
And when that happens, it reloads the page. So let's say that you don't have the greatest cell service and somebody's on their phone looking at this website and they click this and it brings them to another page then it's gonna to have to reload that page. So what we wanna do is make sure that our landing page has everything on it so you can go ahead and click reviews, blog, gallery, and it just jumps to that section inside of the web page. This is especially important when you're running ads because a few seconds could mean someone's clicking off the web page. So you really wanna make sure that the design of the landing page is fast and responsive. All right, they have some questions and answers down here looks pretty good. This is probably way too much text. They need bullet points and text hierarchy. So they need to have some stuff bolded, different size texts, so it would just flow a lot better when you read it. Okay, so they're open 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., which they could have just put open 24 hours a day. And then they would just put that everywhere. That's like a huge selling point, especially when plumbing disasters happen, you need to get somebody there right away. So I would definitely change this and then advertise this. So this would be at like maybe even at the top of the landing page, you know, open 24 seven, give us a call and just throw that call to action right there. They did a good job with the pictures here. I would just kind of segregate them into different sections of what they're doing. Like, you know, if they're running piping or doing repair inside the house, but this is a, this is a little bit better than the other two we looked at. So obviously, you can tell that some are gonna be A tier, B tier, C tier. Uh, the first two we looked at were obviously F tier. Now, if you wanted to make a website for them, what I use for my agency is Go High Level. And Go High Level, I have rebranded as my own software. So you can go ahead and brand that as your own. In the top right, we're just gonna hit new funnel, go from template, and this is gonna save you a ton of time just building it out from a template because a lot of people try to build them from scratch and what you wanna do is you want to go in and actually start with a decent template because that way all the sections are already lined up, all of the headers, footers, everything is there so then you can just alter it. So for example, we're just gonna type in plumbing here and you get about 10 different ones to pick from. Any of these will work, but let's just go ahead and hit preview on this one. All right, this one's not bad. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And that's gonna go ahead and add that inside of our template library. So from start to finish, I can usually build one of these websites in about 20 to 40 minutes and get all the information plugged in. And once that template's loaded in, it's gonna bring us into the page builder. And this page builder is one of the easiest ones that I've ever worked with. And I've used about 12 different page builders. So for example, up here in the top left, you're gonna go ahead and change the logo to whatever their logo is. And you can go ahead and get that with an onboarding email after you sign this client. You can also just pull all the images that were inside of their Google My Business page and use those on this builder. If you wanted to change any of these images, all you have to do is go ahead and click into the image and on the right side, go ahead and hit this button right here, image options. Now go to My Media Unsplash and just type in plumbing. Now Go High Level gives you a ton of stock photos that you can use. And at the top right, we just change their number, change it here as well, and make sure that that's an actual button. So the element name is button over here. And if you wanna change the color to a conversion color, for example, let's change it to green, change both of these to green. We can also do animations. So let's say we wanted it to bounce like that. We can do that for this one as well. Animations and bounce, perfect. Now there's gonna be a lot of Laura Ipsum text. That's just Latin placeholder. You can go ahead and select all this inside and hit AI and then go generate with AI. So we just type plumbing ad copy, hit generate. Stop drips in a click. Experience hassle-free plumbing solutions today. Say goodbye to leaks and drips, fast, reliable plumbing services that will never let you down. Book today for peace of mind tomorrow. All right, that one's pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit just hit continue. It's gonna populate that right inside. Now you wanna go through and do that for each one of these. Now, like I mentioned, let's change this button color to a conversion color, add an animation so it jumps out. And everything we're doing is gonna be responsive inside of mobile as well. So at the top here, if we just go ahead and hit the mobile mode, it's gonna show us what it looks like in mobile. So remember in the other ones I showed you, uh, some of them didn't really go mobile. So like for example, this one, where it's just kind of cut off as I'm scrolling here, um, that's not a good function to have inside your website. So this is something that this page builder does automatically. Um, so it flows really nicely and everything is still a button and it's all responsive. So everything has created its, all right, let's go back to desktop mode. So we have two there. 
We'll just go in here, change this, let's hit generate. Say goodbye to leaky pipes. Experience hassle-free plumbing solutions today. All right, good. Now we're just gonna add that in there. If we wanna change this text size, we can go ahead and change that. There we go. I don't know what this squiggly line is. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, if you wanted to center any of this, you can. Pretty easy. Uh, let's just center this button as well. Okay. Now they don't have a call to action right here. So if we wanted to just go ahead and clone this, just hit this clone button and it's gonna clone your button. Now, if this button had any attributes to it, for example, if it brought you to the next page or it's gonna call this number, if you're on mobile, then that will be copied over as well. And then from here, we can click the drag button and we can just drag it down. And let's say we wanted to add a little more space here. We can just add padding. All right, perfect. All right, now once you're done with this, you can go ahead and connect the domain. Uh, you can also change a few different things with the SEO as well, which it'll pop up here in a second. So the SEO metadata and what the SEO metadata is, is when you're on a website, like for example, one of these we already looking at, it's gonna show like what it shows inside of Google search. So you wanna make sure that you fill that out as well. Now let's go to this preview icon in the top right and see what it looks like. All right, see we have the animation here on the call to action buttons. As we scroll down, we've got the ad copy here. We've got another call us button, got another contact us button. We have what clients are saying about us. You can pull these from their Google reviews. There's some frequently asked questions you can add in here and another call to action at the bottom. See, that's pretty dang good. And it's way better than this and this and this. So we just built a website in about 10 minutes that's already better than these by a great margin. Now, if you wanna know about pricing, what I charge in my agency for this, so depending on the complexity of the website, we're gonna charge something different. So a simple website in a day, I'm gonna be charging only $150 per month and they get the website for free. Now you wanna make sure you tell them that I normally charge $1,000, $2,000 per website, but you're running a certain promotion. Now, if you wanted to do something that's a little more in depth, you can do a fully built custom website. And for that, I would charge $2,000 for the build, depending on how many pages it has and the complexity of the website. And always make sure that you bake in some monthly reoccurring revenue here, $150. You can always mess with these two numbers as you're doing negotiations for the deal. And remember, when you're using Go High Level, you can also sell them other different services that they need to market their business. For example, you can add in AI chatbots directly onto their page, and that's a really easy upsell for $300 a month. You can have lead nurturing campaigns where you automatically follow up with anybody that fills out their lead forms on the website. You can also do other things like missed call text back, Google My Business Review, and database reactivation campaigns. Now, if you have other skills, you can also run their campaigns for them. Now, we charge anywhere from $1,500 a month depending on the ad spend that we're doing and what platforms we're actually advertising on. This is a pretty brief overview of what we do inside of my business. But if you wanna learn more, go ahead and click my link in the description. You can join my free school community where I go over all these processes and how we close clients, upsell them services, and run our business. I'll catch you in the next one.